We're here at my home airport. This is a Spruce Creek fly-in here in Daytona Beach, Florida. I'm Dan Johnson and someone's come a very long way to visit we me here. This is Paul Vickers from Vickers Aircraft, the man behind the Vickers Wave. Uh, and if you haven't followed what that is, well, you're going to know a lot more about that as time goes on. Paul, welcome to uh, Florida. First of all, how was your trip here and what do you think of Florida so far? Hi Dan, not really nice to be here. We've uh, A very long trip was about 16 hours to get to, to Florida and I'm, I'm really enjoying Florida. Lovely people and mo the weather's pretty good most of the time. Now you've been a busy guy here, been meeting with a lot of people, that's exciting. Uh, before we talk a little bit about the airplane, which is what people really want to know about, nonetheless they not like to know the people behind the airplane as well. So give me a little of your background, how it is you came to be a designer of an airplane and uh, what you've done in the past and kind of what led you to this point, Paul? Well my, my background is, um, I've been in business a long time and um, I predominantly designed a lot of a lot of boat hulls, a lot of fishing boat hulls, similar to the Bayliner bay Trophy type boat. And I've always been around aviation. My father was one of the first um, people in New Zealand to design and build a micro with a, with a consortium of people. So I've always been around aviation. I've always enjoyed it, and I always look at things and think that I can do a better job, um, do something a bit different than what's been done. So I've, I've seen what's coming to the market many many years ago, and. About seven or six and a half years ago, I decided that um, I changed the focus of my business away from marine and, and do something that I wanted to do, which is aviation and aircraft. And I saw the market, and I saw there was a need for a, a very nice, sexy, but very practical and affordable um, amphibian. So I went about designing and building something that is very different than what's available or coming to the market. So I didn't want to design and build something that had been done before. Um, the market's you know very busy with that type of aircraft so I think what the wave is bringing is, is a very very fresh approach and a very simple approach to, to an aircraft it's we've, um, we've been keeping pretty quiet we're five and a half years into the project now and uh, we're doing a different take on a traditional type of aircraft build we, we're not doing a mock-up or a prototype we, we're building a conforming proto prototype from day one it's very important for us to design something very simple um, and it need to be able to be manufactured so a lot of the design is around um, f you know f form follows function so it had to be manufacturable which means that it's going to be cost of cost effective and, and affordable for the public and so we had these set goals at the beginning and um, so we've kept our part count um, down below 400 which is very low quite often uh, a lot of aluminium aircraft up around two or three thousand parts uh, these other amphibians coming to the market that are up around 1800 parts and with, with a high number of parts they, there's a dollar value per part and a weight per part and every part needs to be joined to another part so the costs of manufacturability get blown out of proportion very very quickly every part has a labor uh, labor cost and every every part has a, has a material cost so it gets it gets a very complicated manufacturing model when I design a component, I know exactly how that's going to be CNC machined. So from start to finish, I have the complete scope to know that that part's going to be correct and be able to be made and made efficiently. So we're manufacturing everything in-house, full aluminium and all the carbon fibre work. The, the main wing spars and the wing structure internally uh, are aluminium. They're going to be aluminium though, okay. As, as well as the, the vertical stabiliser and horizontal stabiliser structure are all aluminium. Um, but all the skins and all the rest of the structure are, are pre-pred carbon fibre. And uh, how about the bolt hole then? Yeah, that's all solid carbon fibre as well and it's got a, a mixture of a, um, a Kevlar and a few um, functions, other functions in there to um, stop any damage on the hull. You've talked about manufacturing and how uh, use of these materials and your background and so forth and doing it all in-house this is all helping you keep the price down. So what we've done is we've automated this um, all the mold and the pattern we've got the molds on the computer and we can flat pattern off the computer the patterns and then CNC cut them on our machines so it's taking 65 percent of the labor out of the carbon fiber process and that's how we can keep the cost down. So this business of how this is cut, you have a video that I used on my website as well and people can see just how this how this actually works. Made the right part every time and it's um it's keeping the labor cost down which is and then keeping the cost of the aircraft down. The L use for load we're aiming for five hundred and fifty pounds. Uh, we're very confident with that and that we're achieving that with the full carbon fiber aircraft. Uh, we're looking at a cruise speed of 120 knots and a rate of climb of uh, twelve hundred feet per minute. Now there's a lot of folks that will go 120 knots for an LSA seaplane would be, well first of all it is maxing out the category fast as you can go but perhaps more importantly most of the ones that are on the market can't hit that because seaplanes have some 
extra stuff they got to shove through the air. How are you shoving it all through the air to get that speed? Well, we, aerodynamically, we've done some pretty neat things to the fuselage, uh, but the main thing is we're running a Titan engine, which will be over 185 horsepower. So that's the X340 then? That, uh... Yes, it is the X340. And we're doing a, um, a few little uh, extras to the engine, which will, I think su will surprise people with some performance. And we're running a really nice Kato uh, three-blade ma maple core carbon um, propeller for um, very, very nice performance, which which um, Kato is actually designed for our aircraft. So we're, we're very confident. We've, um, we've limited the uh, frontal area, and we're very confident on our figures for, for the cruise. Well, I don't want to tell all our visitors everything our viewers everything about what you got going on but there's some interesting stuff with the landing gear yeah. you got a ballistic parachute on board you have folding wings that will automatically fold you got a bow thruster to help maneuver in the water and in fact I haven't seen too many tricks that you left off this thing but let's uh, instead of uh, giving everybody everything let's tempt them a little bit and tell us where we can go find more about Vickers Wave on the web Paul uh, VickersAircraft.com there you go. So all the way from down under New Zealand, a long flight up here, but we're going to be seeing more of Paul. I think we're going to see it next year's, not this year's, but next year's Air Venture. Is that correct? It is correct, yes. And so we'll be looking for you there. Hopefully we'll see a flying airplane uh, before too long, and of course I'll be reporting that. You can find lots more about all kinds of affordable aviation and the Vickers Wave on ByDanJohnson.com. Thanks for joining Paul Vickers and myself here at Spruce Creek in Daytona Beach, Florida. Thanks, Dan.